picture floating around Twitter over the weekend. This shot taken on on, uh, on Sunday by the gentleman that runs the Panhandle uh, Helicopter Company. He took this spot, uh, this shot in the morning. A little bit of fog rolling in, and the and the the buildings kind of lifting like like <laughs> mountains would lift. Yeah. And uh, spectacular you know, picture, Rob. Yeah, condensing those uh, clouds. And now some would call these uh, Kelvin. Helmholtz waves, but not quite. Well, that's what they look like. They look like waves. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the uh, thanks to the buildings and the little onshore Sorry, flow. Where is this again? Pa uh, Panama City. Panama City. Oh, those are some of the most beautiful beaches. You can't even see yeah. them. I know the crystal white sands and the azul water. You know, I know. Um, it, I just... Look at this spectacular photograph, visualizing how clouds form. In this case, affected by high rises at Panama City, Florida, on Sunday. Look, you see the clouds forming a little offshore as the winds from south to north push moist air toward and then up over top of the high rises. The air rises, reaches its crest here over top or just a little bit beyond the high rise and then sinks back down. That sinking motion lowers the relative humidity and the clouds dissipate. The relative humidity must have been very high just offshore, almost ready for fog to form anyway because the clouds form so low down and then they really get thick going up and almost obscuring the high rises. The other thing that's happening is that with friction, the air slows down as it just begins to move onshore. That gives a little bit of extra convergence and a upward forcing of the air to rise. But it must be that relative humidity needing to be just right that allows the clouds to form so low down and explains why we don't see this kind of a picture every day.